Hello everyone, I'm starting a vlog. Uh, this is, Glenn Holland is making me do it. So if you enjoyed Glenn's vlog, let hope that I can keep up with his. Uh, anyway, we're starting uh, the day before uh, show set up. Uh, today's Thursday, we set up tomorrow Friday for a Saturday show. Uh, this show is the Sugar Creek uh, Model Train Show uh, in Bentonville, Arkansas. It's a one-day show, um, and for those of you in the future, this show is taking place February 2021, uh, so there will be mask wearing and COVID protocols and social distancing and all of that fun stuff. Um, so, uh, anyway, we're starting here in my, uh, in my Lego room, um, which is a disaster, uh, because I wanted to kind of show y'all what Kind of all goes into the show before you get there. Uh, so back here is kind of my storage area, work area. I've got bulk Lego stored here. Builds on this on this shelf. Uh, this is my work table, which is also going to be torn down because it's my table for my module. For one of the tables for my module. Um, so we got a bit of work to do. Uh, a lot of this mess is continually being organized, but there's more building than organizing that goes on here. So it is what it is. Um, other part storage is over here where I have bins of sorted parts um, and leftover lunch, apparently. Uh, but anyway, um, we are uh, getting there. Uh, I have about... Seven or eight items on my list still to do, so uh, we'll check in a little bit later on. I thought I would give y'all a little more detail on how I pack stuff for transport. Um, so here is one of my train boxes, and I do have another one that is exactly the same size. Uh, here are the dimensions of the train box that I use. And... Uh, this box car, after it gets its trucks, will go in here. And I don't think we'll be able to fit much else in here, but we'll see. Um, this is the uh, NMRE special box car. Glenn and I have had some conversations about this, but this is how it ends up before and after transport. It has to basically be reassembled uh, back on site. Um, this is one of my locomotives. Uh, I have another locomotive that's in the other train box that we'll be bringing. Um, yeah, and here's some of the other stuff that we're bringing. So I have an LGMS module uh, that it is an amusement park. So here is one of the rides for the amusement park. Uh, train, trees, those get assembled kind of on site. Uh, but all the parts are in the box. So the tree layout will change every show because it's never exactly the same. Uh, more scenery parts. Um, trucks for an RV park that I have and that sort of thing. Uh, this is the uh, Santa Fe uh, Super Chief. Um, it is in light bluish gray, not uh, old gray. But it works. Um this is another box. This is one of my boxes that I bring that has all the important stuff. Battery boxes, batteries, USB batteries for charging my phone and for running lights in the layout. Um, these are table risers. So for LGMS, we, the way that we do our build is we use a standard pre-bought table. And then the standard calls for the rail height is what's set. Our tables have to be raised two inches. So some of us use table right table screw legs built into the tables. Some of us use table risers. And you'll see those later on in the video. The other question is going to be, how do I move my modules? Uh, those I travel pre-built in custom-built cases. Oh, sorry. Uh, those travel in uh, custom-built cases, and I will show you those uh, later on when we get those 
uh, loaded up in the truck. So today is, I don't even know what the date is, but it's late February. Um, Brick Tracks launched their R104 switches and they were made available this week. Uh, Scott Hoffmeyer received his R104 switches on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Um, Scott is awesome and a rock star and knew that we had a show coming on this weekend. So I have everybody's uh, switches here uh, that is going to be participating in this show. So, yay! So we will have R104 switches in our layout. But I got to uh, unpack it and make sure I get everything pulled out correctly. And yeah, fun stuff. So back to work. So this is turning into a little bit more than just a show, just a regular show vlog. Um, yeah, boy. R104 switches. I'm excited by simple things. Injection molded R104 switches. Time to get to work. Good morning. Today is show setup day. Uh, and I'm getting the last couple of details loaded up. And then we're going to head out for our three hour drive. Uh, I think I'm going to probably stop on the way just to break it up a little bit. Get out, walk around. Usually I wouldn't, but we can't get into the venue until 1 p.m. Uh, but I wanted to get on the road. So I uh, might stop uh, at a Walmart and go and uh, hunt for some Hot Wheels. See if I can find anything good. Uh, yes, in addition to Lego, I also collect Hot Wheels. Um, right now I'm actually in... Uh, the Brick Forge uh, warehouse. Uh, there's a little sneak peek. If you don't know, uh, I own Brick. For My wife and I own Brick Forge. Um, yeah, we're a bunch of kids. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you uh, my crates. I'm gonna flip them. And uh, these are my crates that I carry everything in. Uh, I have an extra one here, um, just in case uh, for growth. Uh, I had a local. Uh, Woodworker uh, build me these and uh, they work great. Um, the height and width, the width was designed so that I can carry my modules on these planks of wood uh, down my, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Um, it's so that I can carry my modules down my stairs uh, because I do all of my building upstairs in this room. So uh, here is one of the mod or one of the boxes fully populated. Um, as you can see, the middle shelf actually has two modules on it. Um, I have, uh, run out of room. Um, that's actually the yard entrance for the yard. So, it should be all good to go, uh, for the yard. So, I have three of these crates. Two are this size. One is a little bit bigger. Uh, and that's for my roller coaster. So here's a little clip of how everything fits in. Just barely clears the gas struts for the glass. And yeah, we're taking use of every last little bit of space. As you can see, my train boxes are on top of the crates, right up against the ceiling. All of the decoration boxes are up there. Uh, this is my show box that has all of my Train controllers, batteries, extra stuff, and all of that. So, anyway, time to get on the road. So, this show is the Northwest Arkansas Train Show. Um, yeah. This is just outside of where we're setting up in the event hall. Yeah. Right, here we are, still setting up. We've gotten some progress. The yard is about to get all clicked in. Um, Kelly over here has his amusement park going. I have my amusement park going. Conrad's over there getting trains. Hal's over there working on his bridge. Robert's working on his yard. 
Uh, and then over here is some serious progress. Uh, Seth is just about done. Robert Emanuel is working on his trains and his bridge is gorgeous. We'll get some more shots of that later on. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Say hi to Conrad and see what Conrad has got. Conrad, why, why don't you tell us about your trains? It is a lovely day in Britsburg and I will show you my trains. I have a New York, Ontario and Western 460. My custom club box car. The Brick World 2019 exclusive box car. A Santa Fe Steel Reefer. My definitely not a copy of the Brick Model Railroader Northwestern Caboose. And my wonderful New Haven EP5. Very nice. That is, that is what I have. Did you ever fix the brick in that one? Fix the brick. Didn't you have an award brick in there? Oh yes, it is on the other side. Oh, yeah. I'll have to get um a red brick. Yes, a red brick. And also, Conrad is running Katie couplers on all of his cars. On everything. So many KDs. And this is what I brought. I brought 1908. Uh, Berkshire, uh, Tony Sava's design, with a couple of tweaks. Uh, PS1, Mopac, boxcar. BMR, refrigerator, cotton belt car. PS1, Rock Island, boxcar. Mopac, Caboose, this is the NMRA special. Uh, and then a Norfolk and Western uh, Caboose also. Uh, over here is uh, some other members' uh, builds, and uh, we'll talk with uh, them tomorrow. It is now 7.30 p.m. We got here at 1. The layout is completely done. We have tested track on our trains on both loops. We are all, uh, all good to go. So uh, we'll check in again tomorrow morning. Here we are Saturday morning and we've got dueling vlogs going on. There's Conrad filming. Uh, make sure to check out his vlog. Hello. We're still pre-show hours, but we're all here. We're all getting ready. We're all getting woken up and getting the trains woken up. I woke up to my knee in the face in the middle and I was with my brother. Nice. <laughs> Second time. Escape uh, module. I wanted something for every generation that somebody, you know, one kid might think, hey, that's a cool spaceship. Other people might say, hey, that's the Autobot headquarters from the 80s. I wanted Moss Eisley Cantina, but I didn't, I wasn't able to get it. It's been sold out, so I needed something for this corner. So I went with another 80s uh, reference, rocket fire explosion from Showbiz. Made some rock creatures. Michelle got it right. That's based off Olaf, Lumiere. Got the Cave of Wonders there, so just kind of a theme to tie it all together was Jawa tours. You can come here and get your own Jawa personal tour through the uh, desert scape. I love the scene from the uh, Mandalorian with the Kray Dragon. That's been probably my favorite episode so far, so... But well, they came up with that cool Mandalorian set, you needed the dragon. Yep. So I made the dragon using some uh, Lego boat parts because I wanted I wanted the money shot for the little kids to be down the throat. Yes, <laughs> it looks good. Right, anyway, that's kind of that's kind of the basis for all that. Cool. Public is here at our playing out. Well, we're about an hour into the show, and it's. Uh, a little busy. Uh, I expect it to get busier, but uh, but we will see how it all goes. All of my freight is on his too. Let's see, see how much the two of them could pull together. You know what? The FCC, see, see how much the two of them could pull together. It'd be insane, especially as like a mid helper. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. 
Uh, can I have some of my freight cars? I mean, if you want. You gonna run them? Yeah. Uh, it'll be a few minutes for... Approaching the end of the day, uh, it's about three o'clock. Hope you enjoyed some of the runbys from the trains and uh, enjoyed some of the uh, seeing the show. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up here because uh, cleanup uh, is always fun and fast and hectic. Uh, trying to get out of here, we shows over at four. We have a three-hour or I have a three-hour drive home that I'm doing tonight. So yeah, uh, so we'll. Uh, Try and do more of these again in the future for any future shows, but uh, one last look at the layout. Uh, so definitely check out uh, Conrad's vlog. Uh, I'll try and link it. And uh, definitely check out Glenn Holland's vlogs uh, also if you enjoyed this.